Cisco email security protecting against malicious and or undesirable URLs. All right, so this is a uh, you know, typical uh, use case where a user uh, from uh, the internal environment gets an email from somebody from the external environment with a link in it, potentially trying to get them to click on it. And uh, you know, the goal is most likely to compromise their asset. Um, so whether it's a URL or a, um, an attachment, we all know that 96%, roughly 96% of threats come in through email. So we we'll want to mitigate that. So what we've done here so far is we're going to send an email from an outside user to an internal user. Um, we just want to make sure that we validate what the current state looks like. Once we do that, then we'll move forward with building uh, any type of mitigation capability that we can do with the Cisco email security platform. So we see the email come in. And very quickly, when we click on the email, we can see that there's a link in that email. And as the user, um, I'm going to click it. And bam, right? That site had a bad reputation. It, it could also take advantage of vulnerability on the asset. Um, all kinds of bad could come from that, right? And, and we know we, we teach users not to click on links or uh, that from somebody they don't trust or to you know go over top the link to make sure the link is valid or, or something that's familiar to them. Um, but we also know that we're still seeing a, a large number of threats that come in through email. So we, we, we need a little bit of balance here. We need some technology to help mitigate a lot of these risks um, and just remove it from the user. And then from there, um, well, obviously user education is going to help us with the stuff that might still come through, right? So what we're going to do here is we're going to build an incoming content filter. So this is going to allow us to add, uh, there's a variety of capabilities within the content filters. And we're going to talk some more about these in other videos. But um, the first thing that we want to do here is we're going to create a filter and we're specifically going to look at um, the uh, URLs themselves. So we can do things like URL category. We can look for certain conditions. Here I'm just saying I, it, there is no condition. Anything that comes inbound that is malicious, minus 10 to minus 6, I want to redirect that to Cisco security proxy in the cloud. Um, and therefore, when a user gets this message and it falls under the reputation of malicious, they're going to get redirected to... Uh, Cisco's um, proxy cloud and and what's nice about that is is it doesn't matter if you're on or off-prem you still have that proxy layered uh, uh, capability so we'll have an opportunity to block that that threat at that particular time the user will click it to go to the proxy based on reputation it's probably gonna get blocked right um, we could also have done two other things. We could have removed the link, right? There's two other options uh, on top of the proxy options. And, th and that is we could remove the link and we could put in, you know, this has been removed by IT security. Um, or we could have defanged it. So just made it unusable. So the link actually cannot work. Um, the problem with some of that is, is that um, you may get prompted or, or a question might uh, come into the help desk, etc. Here, they're going to get a clear message of what's happening. So like anything, when we save uh, the content filter or anything in here, nothing really uh, is applied to the system itself until you commit the changes. And that's what we're doing here. We're giving a nice little comment um, after a quick spell check. And we're going to commit that change. All right, so right now the content filter is doing zero, right? Again, this is kind of like an object that you're building and then you're gonna use this object in policy. So we'll go to the incoming mail policy and we'll go to content filters. And you can see that there is a content filter here now and now we'll hit enable and submit. So again, just because we submitted doesn't mean anything at this point until we commit the changes. 
again, you could have done this all at the same time without having to commit every once in a while. Um, in this case, I, I made reference to creating the content filter as a step and committed it so it's in the logs. And then here I'm uh, committing the changes and then saying I've applied the content filter in, as well. So that's good for auditing, but uh, you might want to have that all in one change, right? And just uh, summarize that change. All right, so therefore, well, at this point, we've got like the policy. This is the default policy. We've got spam, antivirus, advanced malware protection. There's some gray mail functionality. We've got outbreak fil filters, um, but we're focused on that content piece, right? And making sure that those URLs are, the risks of, of some of those URLs coming inbound is mitigated. So let's log into the email appliance itself or security appliance and uh, we'll uh, tail the mail logs. Um, and in my case, it's not a big deal because I don't have a lot of traffic going through here. Um, so I'm gonna be able to very quickly see this, but in production, obviously, you're gonna see a lot more traffic and you might have to do additional parsing. So from here, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and craft an email from the outside user and we'll send that inbound. And we'll have a look at the results both on the email security appliance CLI, the, the mail logs themselves. We'll also see the result in the user from a user perspective. Um, and we may also have a look at some of the dashboarding stuff, right? All right, so far so good. New message, put in that, um, we'll put in the two and then we'll put in the message itself, give it a subject. We'll put the subject in, in the right spot here. And at this point, we'll just send. Now, um, we could do a send and receive on this side. The other thing we can do is look at the CLI um, to see that message. And we'll end up doing uh, all of it. Okay, send and receive, we should see the message. Come in. And while that's happening, let's go quickly look at the message logs themselves. And very quickly, we're looking for a couple of things. We can see here, um, rewritten by URL reputation proxy redirect action filter. And there's the filter name, right? URL filter or the content filter name. So we know that uh, the mail came in and it took action against that URL based on the reputation. Remember, we're not looking for content, although we could. I, sorry, we're not looking for categorization, which we could. We could have said anything that comes in that fits adult, for example, or gambling. Uh, we, want, we might want to redirect that or defang it. So you can see this message has come in. You can see very quickly it says secure-web, cisco.com right and this is obviously tying this back to their particular uh, message themselves so if you click on this and this is the beauty right so this is proxy capability following the user both on and off premise we see the reason it's malware um, there's a threat re reason you see the url uh, you can see the ip address all of that is there Pretty easy stuff, right? Uh, explaining it took more time than actually going through and creating the policy and testing it. So um, maybe just finishing up here, we can go and look at the dashboard itself and and uh, maybe there'll be something there of interest. And you can see there, messages with malicious URLs, there's two of them. That's it.
easy stuff. You know, within five minutes, you create a content filter and you're mitigating, you know, a, a very large chunk of threats that come in and that's links themselves.